All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to LaFrance Gymnasium here in Fall River, Massachusetts for this NJCAA Region 21 matchup between the Bristol Community College Bayhawks and the visiting university at Connecticut at Avery Point, Pointers. I'm joined by, how you doing? I'm David Cardoza. I'm joined by Megan Holden here on uh, Thursday night. Bayhawks basketball brought to you by all of our friends here at FRC Media as we broadcast live streaming on our Bristol Community College Athletics Facebook page. Megan, uh, Bristol coming off a loss on Tuesday night. They come into this contest 7-5. and five. And, um, you know, let's see if they can uh, have a little bit of a turnaround after a little bit of a disappointing matchup um, this past Tuesday. Yeah, if they want to turn things around, this is the time to do it. It's the last game of January, about to go to February, where things get real real serious. Playoffs is coming up. And then they got four, four away games straight after this. So if you're going to turn things around, best time to do it, I feel like, is at home. And that's for sure. We're going to send things down to courtside, and we're going to get ready for player introductions. Let's send it down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's NJCAA Region 21 contest with the visiting University of Connecticut at Avery Point and your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. <laughs> Fans, coaches, and players, the NJCAA Region 21 and Bristol Community College are committed to the ideals of good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play. We ask that all fans, coaches, and players show respect for the opposing team, game officials, and each other before, during, and after tonight's game. Thank you for your cooperation. And now, for tonight's starters, first for the visiting, Pointers. At guard, a sophomore, number three, Alec Gomes. At guard, a sophomore, number 11, Maloyed Perkins. At guard, a freshman, number 13, Tyler Zigre. At center, a sophomore, number 24, John Domijan, the fourth. And at forward, a freshman, number 35, Cyrus Spray. The pointers are coached by Sam Chung and assisted by Jim Miller. And now, for your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. At forward, a freshman from Aponiquit High School, number 10, Joe Lopes. At forward, a freshman from the Washington School, number 11, TJ Henry. At guard, a sophomore from East Providence High School, number 15, Dominic Santos. At guard, a sophomore from New Bedford High School, number four, Chad and Gia. At guard, a sophomore from Grand New Bedford Volk, number one, Stanley Freeman. Bristol is coached by Brian Fernandes, assisted by Clayton Timas and Eric Diaz. And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you all please rise for the singing of our national anthem by our own Lucy Cabral.
Wow, what a beautiful rendition of the uh, Star Spangled Banner. And now I'm ready for a basketball game after that. Thank you, Lucy. Great job, Lucy. Great job by our own Lucy Cabral, part of our Bristol family and part of our FRC media family as well. You know, I was, paying, <laughs> I was paying more attention to the pregame, this game. And I got to say, I like our handshakes better. I like the Bayhawks handshakes are way better. Better than who? Better than uh, UCAT. It's more creator. <laughs> It's a good observation there. We're getting ready for a tip here. Bristol coming off a loss this past Tuesday against Bunker Hill. They're looking to um, get back on, their, on the winning track. And uh, TJ Hendry getting ready to tip off for Bristol. Well, UCAP is not really an offensive team. They don't really got many scorers, but they do have size. So. Yeah, well, they win the tip. John Domajan going to the glass. Thought he got bumped in the pack from TJ Hendry. We're underway from La France Gymnasium here in Fall River, Massachusetts. Stanley Freeman, lean, second lean score for this Bristol team, returning sophomore. Freeman going to the rack, gets the contact, makes the basket, he'll go to the line. And we were talking about that a little bit last game, how Freeman, Freeman has become more, uh, more aggressive as a facilitator, it's definitely stepped up. I like him going to the basket. Well, he's definitely taking on that facilitator role. I mean, last year, that wasn't his role at all. You're talking about a freshman coming in, you know, into a start, into a starting lineup, and um, he was timid. He was a little timid. Didn't have to, didn't have to um, take on as much as the role because, you, like you said before, you had Marcus McCarthy, who was one of the uh, one of the Big one of the guards. best players in America, and um, was a great facilitator, one of the top assist. Uh, one of the top passers and scores going into the paint. Kind of wild. And that ball is actually going to be Bristol. I give you cap uh, this. They got good ball movement. Definitely good at passing side to side. Had a lot of spaces. Got to finish it. Yeah, well, it is early going. And um, talking again about Stanley Freeman, you know, last year as a freshman, he wasn't expected to be, you know, Take on a, big a major. Role. Yeah, taking on. Taking on a role this year, he's more in that leadership role. You know, he's you know he's played in big games. He's played in he's played in postseason as T.J. Hendry hits a fadeaway there, nice and Bristol has an early four four nothing lead. Nice move by Henry. Going into the teeth of the defense, another errant shot. Jomajan going to get fouled by Nguia, I believe. Hey, uh, you you can't might have size, but Bayhawks are not, not easy on the interior. Definitely contesting everything. And Domajan will sink the first free throw. We have a great, pretty good crowd on hand for Thursday night. Thursday night Bayhawks basketball on FRC Media. We've been having some good, good crowds. Yeah, some good animated crowds as of late these last couple games here, last few games. Second free throw was no good by John Domajan, the fourth. Freeman looking to go to his left, kind of loses it. Hendry catches the ball at the free throw line, jumper is short. Looking to push back the other way. Malioid Perkins swings it, three pointer off the, off the side of the rim, rebounded by TJ Hendry. Nice contested shot by Ngia there, giving him no space. And let's see if uh, Chad and G, if he can, um, oh, knocked away. Alec Gomes going to the rack. And he can't finish. And UConn having a tough time finishing at the rim. I was going to say, uh, I wish Freeman would have tested that more, but he didn't even need to. I think he psyched him out. I think maybe. You know, he, he, let, he let him have the lane, and he just missed it. Inside to Lopes. Gets the position. Puts it above the glass nice. and in. Good job by Lopes to get good position deep into the paint and scores it. Nice composure and, and adjustments there. Good entry pass, too. Yes. They get it inside. Domajan kicks it back out. Nice little fake there. Malioid Perkins, a three, drains it. All nothing but net. I was watching him pregame. He can make those shots. You can't give him that much space. Yeah, that was a good-looking shot there. Timeout on the floor by Coach Brian Fernandes. 6-4. And we're going to take a break here, and we'll be right back. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. 
I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining us. 6-4. David Cardoza here with uh, Megan Holden. Or I go by Melissa sometimes. <laughs> Right, That's like part of your split personality, right? Could be, yeah. 6-4, Bristol with a big win last Saturday. They were missing Chad and Gia, their top leading scorer. They're a three-point shot maker. Well, their energy, their energy guy. They missed him against a tough Roxbury team, but they were able to win Saturday afternoon. Another home game on Tuesday. They lose to Bunker Hill, one of their key rivals, in a game where I just didn't think they had it. They came out energized, but they just couldn't put it together towards the end. It's made too many, too many mistakes. Yeah, they kept trying to get back into it. They fell, they fell from behind and uh, just couldn't make shots. And again, oh, nice little fake going nice. to the racks, Chad and Gia. And Gia was great that first half of the game too. Let's see, but fell off a little bit the second half. Let's see if he can have a consistent game this game. Yeah, and they're gonna need him tonight. In the paint, the floater, it's good. Number 35, Cyrus Sprague, catches it in the paint. Little floater there for two. Let's see what defense uh, looks like uh, UCAP, UCAP playing man to man. Freeman swings it, lopes. A little bit better ball movement than uh, we've seen than the, la the last game. And it constantly moving, too. Yeah, you got you to gotta move. Yes. Lopes nice. catches it. Oh, nice little flip. And they're going to call a foul on Lopes. They didn't end the play great, but I like what I saw there. A lot of side-to-side -side passing, standing yeah. up, getting good looks. Yeah, I like what I've seen there. Everybody touching the basketball. People not just standing around, catching it, putting it up. Short. Rebound. Three-pointer from the top. No good. Rebounded by Lopes. And they're not taking too long to make decisions either. You just either pass the ball or go, go to the basket. Yeah. I felt like last game... They, didn't know they were they a little bit, little bit indecisive. Like yeah. the offense didn't have a plan. Lopes on the block, catches it in the paint, puts it up, nice. and this might be a Joe Lopes game. Nice fight there by Lopes to get the basket. Four points for Lopes early. They're going to need him to be an inside presence. Well, he had a game Saturday, so he can, he's definitely capable. Yeah, he had a great game on Saturday. Thought he was a major reason why they won that game on Saturday against Roxbury. Ooh, Freeman almost knocked that one away. In the paint, again, another another bunny missed. The same kick ball. Thought Henry fought for that rebound. It'll be interesting to see uh, see how they match up. Look like they're pretty pretty even size right now. Yeah, I think they match up pretty well. Yeah. Although U UCAP's not known for the shooters, but. They got some height, though, I'll tell you they that. Do. They do. Kick it back out to three. No good. Rebounded by Lopes. Another board for him. I, I mean, I'm sorry, that was in gear. I feel like if you, uh, if Bayhawks can force UCAP to beat him on the three-point line, they'll be okay this game. Yeah, because they're not making shots. Freeman picks up dribble. Santos for three. Way off. Oh, but Chad and G is there for the offensive board. That was a nice find by Freeman. Thought that was going to go in. Freeman going to the basket, puts it up. Can't get it to fall. Cyrus Sprague. Sprague is six foot three. UCAP's definitely in a hurry here to get something. Going into the going into the defense, and I think Freeman's going to have a foul. I think they're going to. Are they going to call the foul on? They call the foul on Santos. Well, second foul for the uh, for the Bayhawks. Okay, now in the game for Connecticut. There's a turnaround jumper missed by Nate Landon. Seems like uh, UCAP's rushing their shots a little bit. Yeah, they're they're getting they're getting good looks. They're just not making the, mm -hmm. they're not making these shots. That's a deep three by Engia and, and Thria. 
Shad, and Thria. We know he got the range for it. Thought about mm -hmm. it. Made it. He's got no, he's got no conscience from out there. If he can do that all game, they'll be fine. Avery for three, gets it to go. Abney for three, I'm sorry. Give a three, take a three, I guess. Gavin Abney, the freshman guard from Stuttgart, from Stuttgart, Germany. Oh, wow. Stuttgart, Germany. Talk about a uh, long way. Yeah, a long way from home. <laughs> oh, Freeman tries to crease, drives nice. to the lane and in. Great job by Freeman. Nice job trying to find a space and just keep going with it. Nice dribble moves to get some, get some space as well. Attacking the basket. There's a three. That's way off. I think you're right, Megan. I think force them to shoot the three. Yeah. Obviously, they want to shoot it, but they're not making those shots from out there. Give it to them every time. Yeah. Freeman gets it inside. Nice little pick and roll nice there. Lopes. there by Lopes. And Lopes will go to the line. Nice up fake. Good job by, good job by Joe Lopes to, uh, to roll to the basket while Freeman was uh, looking to penetrate. And Lopes will go to the line for two. I feel like that's definitely his game. I just like to see him become more part of the offense more. Seems he like he can do it. Yeah. He's definitely um capable. definitely un yeah, definitely capable, but definitely underrated. Yes. He's a type of player like we say before, like does all the little things. But sometimes I think the other team is not expecting it. Yes. You always need that player too. The one that can yeah. step up that when uh when the stars are having an off night. Fundamentally sound. 16 to 9. Bristol has the lead here. UConn in the navy blue. This is not gray and gray again. That shot's going to be way off. Put back. Oh, attempt wow. no good. You can't pick. Can get nothing to go in right now. I think Bristol. Just good defense. If I'm looking at it, I think Bristol definitely has the um, athleticism mm. advantage. Stolen away as I, I say, say that. that. Going the other way and laying it in. You jinx. Cyrus Sprague. That one's all your fault. Well, that was, I mean, that was a yeah. good job for him. That was a good anticipation to get into the pass line and knock that one away. What? Lopes kicks it to the corner. Chad mm. cannot make the three. Rebounded by, by Abney. Well, as I said before the game, they're not they're not shooters, but they're pretty good defensively. Abney for three. Gets it to go. He's a shooter, though. He made the man from Germany. Made two threes already. Yeah, he's got. He got the range. He's I showing mean, it. He's from Germany, so. <laughs> so he's going to have range. Well, as far away. Maybe he's just used to. The three-pointer. Freeman can't get it to go. Rebounded by Landon. Pointers have made some uh, substitutions. Nate Landon, number 23, is on the court. They kick it out, the three. It's oh. good. I thought that was a, a suspect pass by 35. I thought he was going to lay it up. Cyrus, it. Cyrus Sprague for three. And uh, they just like that, the pointers have a point lead, one point lead. And Gia, step back for three. No good. The tip. Well, Rebounded by Connecticut. Well, you got to live, live and buy, die by that three-point line. Oh, nice little. Oh, the oh. dish thrown away. Handed it to the wrong person. Chad and Gia. And let's see if they. Let's see if he goes to the line. Maybe that can get momentum back to Bayhawk side. A couple plays. Uh, they let slip a little bit. It's been an up and you know it's been an up and down game. Well, it's been kind of the story for the past couple games for the Bayhawks. They start off. They start off fast. Start off good. And then they start settling down a little bit towards the end of the, uh, well, towards a couple minutes in the first half. Lopes gets his shot blocked, kicks it back out to Anguilla. Anguilla, the floater, can't get it to fall. That rebound was by Travis Yeomans. He's six foot four. Cooled off a little bit from the start. Stolen. You Santos it. going back the other way. Santos. Mm. Oh, he definitely got disrupted by Abney. Chad and G up for three. Gets it nice. to go. Chad and G nice. for three. Nice stop staying with the play there. 18 to, 19 to 17. Bristol has the lead. Off that three by Chad and Gia. 
19 to 17. 11 06 to play, almost halfway through this first half. Now it seems like. Uh, and Megan, what do you like so far from the uh, from the Bayhawks team? I liked how they was in the earlier. I like how they were spreading the ball around. They weren't. They were constantly moving around. Seems like they haven't really been doing that the last couple of plays. But uh, I like to see them get back to it defensively. I just I just feel like they're not they're not giving uh, UCAP any easy shots. So let them take if you make the three, okay. But you're probably not going to take. You're probably going to miss more than you make. So I think they're they're okay. Yeah, I mean, soon at three and uh, contested interior shots. I mean, let's look at the, um, you know, let's look at the three point percentages. I mean, you look at, um, you know, a guy like, uh, I mean, who's their top three point shooter? John Domajan, who's their post player. Yeah. I mean, if you want, I mean, he's shooting thirty six point four from behind the arc, but he's not he's not the guy that's going to be. You know that you're gonna have to worry about from out there. He's not taking that many shots from out there. No. He's your, he's there. You know he's their center. You got you got three players. You got three players shooting a little bit over four threes a game, and they're all shooting under 30 35 percent. Yeah, I mean Cyrus Sprague is shooting 30 percent. Yeah. Well, they're shooting. Tyler Zegre is shooting 34.9 percent. Yeah. I mean right right now, I mean they're not shooting. They're not shooting that great from the outside. I mean, they can give it to Nate Landon, who's shooting 100 percent for three, but that's point one <laughs> shot attempt. Yeah, attempt. Yeah, he's not. I mean, he's coming off the bench. I yeah. mean, don't let the numbers fool you. No. no. But they, I mean, they got they got some bigs though. Well, you, we saw Abney uh, make a couple of threes. I think right now it's the only one you have to worry about. Yeah. Well, Bristol playing that two-three zone, they should be able to defend that three-point. A three-point shot. So three on the shot clock. Drive it to the basket. Up and over. And I believe they're going to call a foul. It should be on, I think it's going to be on uh, TJ Henry. I'm not sure about it. I thought that was good defense by Henry. He got his arms up. It looked like he didn't really disturb Yeah, it didn't really look like there was you know, no. that much uh, contact in there. It was very. Uh, this is good defense. Very minor. But nothing cheap. No. You know, no cheap baskets. How do you feel about the new M well people call it a new NBA where you can't really def you can't really you feel like you can you can defend you can't really touch players now. No, not like you used no. to. I mean, you can't. I mean, the hand checking you can't do that. It's a, a lot of people are flopping now, yes. looking for calls. So See, Travis Yeoman's at the line. Nineteen seventeen. See, I'm not a big fan of flopping, but I'm a big fan of Marcus Smart. So does that make me a hypocrite? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, oh, the press. Perkins going back the other way. Strong lays it in. UConn looking to press, looking to put pressure on the Bayhawks. Bayhawks. Who's going to get it up over the line? Another almost a steal there. Freeman gets it inside to Nate G. Oh, and they're going to wow. call offensive foul. And they're going to call an offensive. Who are they calling offensive on? I don't know. I know Freeman hit the ground. I didn't see UConn players hit the ground. Or you cap. They're going to call it on Stanley Freeman on the drive. Twenty nineteen. Crowd's not too happy about this. Hey, the ball don't lie. Maybe maybe it was a Bayhawks ball. <laughs> Coming up to be halfway through this first half. Here's Freeman. Lopes looking to come up and set a screen. Connecticut doing a good job of defending. Doing a good job of defending the arc, too. Pufong gets it inside to Nate G. Oh, uh, stays with it. Well, UCAP who are they calling the foul on? UCAP thought it was. It seemed like a miscommunication between the refs. One ref is saying. What is the call? I don't know about the refs this game. I think they should be fined. <laughs> Four team fouls on the home team, Bristol three on the pointers. See, pointers have a one point lead. This this is what's looks like they're changing the uh, gate was it was it goaltending? I think they just gave gave Bayhawks too. So maybe that's what it was. Yeah. I mean they, they took a long time to try to clarify that. And they're gonna call a, they're gonna call a goaltending and uh, somebody's hand was in the net. 
It's a good job finding Nathaniel. So Bristol, Bristol playing some tight D. Abney, eight on the shot clock. Bristol in that zone. Three pointer coming off. Shot clock buzzer goes off. And it's going to be point. It's going to be And Bayhawks. they're going to say it's. They're going to say it's off the pointers. It's going to be Bayhawks basketball. I thought the Bayhawks got a little break there. I thought NG was the last one to touch it. No, I thought it was Lopes. Yeah. All I know is uh. They're not. They're not. They. They're not allowing the offense to get anything. Making them take okay, the UConn, time. UConn playing that extended zone. <laughs> Nate G catches it, kicks it back out. Freeman swings it. That's his shot right there, and G up for three. It. Get him back going. Chad and Gia nails it. And they're going to call a foul. I think it's going to be on. <laughs> Fans are not like not big fan of the refs this game. Referees getting referees getting roasted by the uh, the by the uh, Fall River faithful. Well, we still got eight minutes to play in the in the first first quarter. And it's already eight fouls. Total. Total, yes. But still. That's a deep three, way off the mark. Rebounded by Andia. Pufong for three, and they're gonna. They're gonna call a travel. Oh wow! I can see it. You can see it a mile away. All I know is uh, this is what worries me about the Bayhawks. They get too off to a hard start, start, and they have these little spurts where they, you know, they yeah, get going. Yeah, they have. Sometimes they have that little, that little dry spell or that little lull. Yeah, they keep. It, can, it keeps happening, and then that's how they lose their lead, and and it seems like they can't come back from it. Got to keep the pedal to the metal. Yes. Baseline jumper, turnaround jumper, no good. Nice rebound. Good job there by Nate G. Oh, Freeman putting on the Jets, goes to the rack, no good. But who's there to clean up the mess? The nice. trash man, <laughs> Joe Lopes. Nice cleanup by Lopes there, keeping his composure. Thought Freeman rushed it a little bit, too much pressure on the ball there. <laughs> the trash man, the construction worker with his, hat, with his hard hat on. I'm not sure if he's going to be happy with the trash man. No, <laughs> he's, because he's, he's the trash man because he's doing the dirty work. Okay, okay. You, when you put it like that, he might, he might yeah, be okay with it. Yeah, he's doing all – He's getting his hands dirty. See, I like a. He gets in there, he mixes it up. I like the pair of uh, Bayhawk bakes. Oh. Oh, we got hit in the face Some there. Some friendly fire there. Friendly fire. Here's Angia, looking to drive. Puts it up, little scoop, nice. up and under move by Chad Angia for three. For two. Two. <laughs> I mean, he's been shooting out threes, you would think. I know, right? <laughs> I'm so used to him shooting threes. Bristol has extended their lead to eight underneath. And oh, count it. And one. Number 35, Cyrus Sprague. See, this is what I mean, but so that the Bayhawks get going, get going, and this one thing just kills the momentum. No, but Bristol, Bristol trailed 20 to 19, and after that, um, after the uh, after the goal 10. Yeah. I mean, they've been on like a 9-0 run up until this point now. Yeah, let's see if now this. Now it's 28-22. to 22. Let's see if this kills, uh, kills any momentum. I like Nate G has been giving them good minutes. some good, solid minutes. Yes. He's definitely a nice presence on the inside. I like, I like the pair of bigs, Henry and uh, NG. I think that's a good compliment to each other. One's more athletic. The other one's more of bulk. Freeman taking it up the sideline. Ooh, off his foot. And it's going to be off Freeman's foot. And I, like, and I like how you, um, I like how you said that. Like, T.J. Hendry brings a different, he brings more of athleticism, you know, um, you know, more of athleticism to the mm -hmm. post. Or an AG is like a, you know, a big body who can get in, who can get in there and kind of bang. Yes. They you know, clear some space, bump some bodies around. Three-pointer, it's good. Oh. Deep three-pointer by Tyler Zegre. Yeah, the, the Bayhawks uh, definitely have it all with the bigs. I like, I like, they complement each other as well. Freeman looking to drive and gets it knocked away. 
Tyler Zegre on the previous possession hit the three-pointer for, uh, for the pointers. He's averaging 14.6 a game. And he's one of their better three-point shooters, shooting 35%. That miss, tipped, ends up in the hands of Freeman, puts it up, nice. gets the ball, count it, he's going to the line. Maybe they can get uh, Bayhawks going again. I like when, I like when Freeman go, keep, go, goes to the rim. Yeah, he can get to the rim. Yeah. I just think it's finding that, um, that, that happy medium where, not too much. You know, where he's not passing, where he's not overly passing, but he, you know, he's he's picking his spots and he's taking chances and he's taking it to the basket. Well, it's definitely something. Having he's having more of a balanced game. Yeah, something. Because he's one of their leading scorers. Three pointer by Sprague, no good. Who's got it? Oh. And Gia gives it right back. Zegre. Oh, underneath. Aww. Nice play there to a cutting Alec Gomes. That was a nice cut by, by Cap. Yeah, but that was a great find there. Yeah. Uh, back to Freeman real quick. I just, yeah, he's definitely uh, getting more comfortable in a row. You can see he's, he's getting a little bit better balance, but something he can definitely continue working on. I like to see him get low. I definitely think he is the, um, the floor general for this team. Go into the rack, go nice. into the rack, Freeman. That's what he needs to do. Lowe's way was went on to three point line and was able to get some room for uh for Freeman there. Yeah, they need him, they need him to score more. Yes. Picking it back out. Zegre oh, gets nice. a block by Freeman. Oh. Oh. Who are they calling this on? Well we got <laughs> I see that the ref regrets calling. <laughs> the river rats. He's like, you know, they know they're the, gonna hear it. We got the river rat section. Loving it. Well, it was on it was on a uh, on pointers, so still Bayhawks ball. So not too much to get upset about. 32-28, 5:40 to go. Freeman driving to his left, and they're going to call a foul. I believe they're going to call a foul on number three. No, they're going to call a foul on number 13. I'm sorry, Zegre. They get inside. Henry trying to muscle it up. Off the glass no. and in. Good job muscling that one up. Nice play by Henry. Doesn't TJ. Matter. Going back the other way. Domashan, nice little flip underneath. Oh, but and Gomes, just, Gomes couldn't connect. No. And G just did just enough to get his uh, hand in there to. Uh, yeah, good defensive play. Yeah. Santos drives, kicks it back out to the elbow. Henry can't make it. Abney with the rebound. Going back the other way is Tyler Zegre. Zegre driving against Freeman. Gomes kicks it back out. Three pointer Domajan. Can't connect. Oh, Henry loses it. Domajan to the basket. Can't make the layup. Henry is keeping his eyes too much on the ball. He's kind of losing his man a little bit. He's up. Oh, and Gia yeah, going nice baseline. Playing, Gia. Driving to his left, putting it up with his right. The floater is good. Chad and Gia. Keeps getting the Bayhawks back into it. Back into it. They're up eight. Well, you know what I mean. As far as <laughs> offensively, when he seemed like to have a dry spell. Domashan from the free throw line. Can't get the bounce. Rebounded by Gomes underneath. Finds Abney. Jumper good. He has some skills. The freshman from Stuttgart, Germany. Having himself a good little first half. Lopes coming up to try to set a pick. 15 on the shot clock. Bayhawks are not moving as much as they, they yeah. were. UConn, you cap. Freeman's calling for the ball. Santos, good job. Good ball movement there by the, by the Bayhawks. Just and finish. Gia just couldn't finish. But Connecticut playing some frustrating D. Yes. I mean, but also I think it's Bayhawks not moving around as much. Three pointer by Zegre, no good. They're making the you, uh, pointers yeah, work point, less. Yeah, pointers are shooting on. They're they're living and dying by the three, right. like you said. Like they're they're just they're missing a lot from out there. And you think with the size, it would be the opposite. You think they'd be taking yeah. the inside. They got some size and some girth. Freeman cross court pass almost didn't get there. Santos. Henry kicks it to the corner for a jam for three. He can get that all day. That's his shot, man. Corner three. 39-30, nine-point lead. 
Corner three specialist badge activated. Yep. He is a three-point specialist. That's the guy they got to get it to. Yes. Domajan from the elbow can't get it to fall. When they move around, they get him open. If they have to move around and he gets to open open three, they lose track of him. John Domajan, the fourth, is six foot six. I mean, he should be in there dominating. Yes. Six foot six. Pretty tall. And Gia, step back. Another three is one. good. Shout out, Gia. He's cooking now. The crowd loves it. And Gia it. gives the three point sign. The crowd loves it. The River Rats love it. Timeout on the floor. Bristol Community College, the, Be the Bayhawks have a 42-30 lead, their largest lead yet. We're gonna take a break on we're gonna take a break here on FRC Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, welcome back, everybody. 2.36 to play here in the first half. Crowd getting rowdy. Crowd getting into it. Bristol Community College men's Bayhawks team. Up by 12. Just uh, leaving a back-to-back -back threes, corner threes by uh, Angia. He's yeah, he's, right putting on, he's putting on his own clinic. Not quite as impressive as Katera James in the first half, but I mean. Just keep feeding him right now. Yeah, Katera James had eight three-pointers in the first half. I believe Chad Angia has four. So you're trying to say it's a competition? Not saying it's a competition, <laughs> but both, both teams have a, definitely have a good three-point shooter. Yes. Zigre. Domajan looking to pound his way inside. Hendry playing some good defense on him. Abney inside. And TJ Hendry said, this is my house. Get that Get out, of out of here. Like I said, nice. Uh, they got it all with the bigs. So uh, looks like we're going to have two Bayhawks in a three-point contest that I'm starting. You're starting it? I'm starting it. Oh. No one else is going to do it. <laughs> okay. It's going to be a big deal. Good luck. <laughs> if I can get some of these people that's in the crowd tonight to go, I think we'll be fine. Very uh, energetic here. Do it for charity. <laughs> All right, Gavin. Gavin Abney, six foot one freshman from Stuttgart, Germany. He's been their source. Second free throw good. He's been their source for points this game. Yeah, he's been their only source of consistency. Yeah. Here's Santos. Santos at the point, running the back up to Freeman. Lopes looking to come up and set that pick. Santos on the wing, flips it back. Joe Lopes, that's his shot, nails nice. it. Nice, nice flying by. That little, that little 15 to 17 yeah. footer, Joe Lopes can make that. And they gave it to him they, for free. <laughs> <laughs> Three pointer from the wing is good. Travid, Trevor Yeomans. They got some bigs who can shoot, but those bigs need to get in yeah. on the inside. They're not consistently going to get that. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Freeman. Ooh, Santos almost lost that in the corner. Nice save. 13 on the shot clock. Abney on Freeman out there. There you go. Stop moving around. You can't play a man to man. Freeman. Kicks it over. Lopes going nice. baseline, going strong. Oh, Ooh, I thought he might have got a foul there. I thought he might have got. I thought he got. Might have had some contact going there. That was a nice play by him though to get to dodge the player. Out of bounds. Out of bounds is the call. Bristol basketball. Previous play, I like what Joe Lopes did. Nice little left fake, yeah. and he did not hesitate. He went right yeah. at. Good little move to get past went, the defender. Yeah, he went right at Nate Landon, who is uh, six foot five. And Joe Lopes definitely giving up some size there. Joe Lopes maybe 6-1. Going to the rack. Fade away. And Gia can't make it. Oh, nice fight there by, uh, by Santos. Almost stole the rebound. First half winding down. Sprague flips it to. Kickback. 
Sprague, three is good. Back to back threes by him. I'm sorry, Trevor Yeomans. Trevor Yeoman. Looks like uh, Nate G's back in the game. Nate G. Nate Nathaniel. Nate Dog. I like Nate Dog. I miss Nate Dog. Let's say peace, Nate Dog. Bristol will hold for the final shot of the half. Here's Freeman. He's the guy you want. Nice little nice. dish to Lopes. And I thought maybe there might have been the a foul, foul there, there, but. All right, it is a foul. And it is a foul. The, the trash man at the line. Oscar the Grouch. I don't even know how. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how Freeman found him. He's not a him. grouch, though. He's a nice kid. Yeah, he is. Freeman, I don't even know how. Very polite, very gentleman. I don't even know how uh, Freeman got the ball to him. He had two defenders draped on him. Still managed to find him in a nice dish. Well, so you know, you know, Freeman's like a Freeman, like like they say in baseball, he's a five-tool player. He's a guy that can do everything well. I mean, he can drive to the basket, he can dish, he can find others, he can facilitate, he can shoot the three. He can play. He plays good on defense. You know, he's a solid defender. It's all about just playing the whole, just doing it the yeah, whole game. Yeah, he does. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to do. Definitely look to him to be a leader and yeah. stepped up big time. You know, he's one of those guys. But he definitely like a Mookie Betts, you know. Yeah. He can do everything well. Well, don't say that. He's gonna break my heart because I'm still not ready. I'm still not. I don't want them to trade him. I don't get how you prepare for the future. But I don't want them to trade. I don't want them to trade Mookie mm -hmm. Betts, but it won't break my heart. You won't break your heart. I don't. I don't think he has any personality. No. No. He doesn't do it for me. <laughs> Even the was it the little the little. Sh uh, Thing they do for outfielders a little ritual. yeah they used to do that long oh <laughs> Landon showing his arm there at the end we hit the logo in the head yeah all right so at the half 45 37 the Bayhawks have the lead and um, it is halftime here so we'll we'll take a break here on our live stream on our Bristol Community College athletics page all right for David Cardoza and Megan Holden all right, we'll be right back with you in just a little bit. Stay tuned for second half action. Don't go away. This one's going to be a good one. It should go down to the end. We'll be right back. College is an eight-point lead on the University of Connecticut at every point. 45 to 37. A couple of the stars of the first half, Chad and Gia, playing a key role, hit four three-pointers in that first half. Seemingly the leading scorer, I thought Joe Lopes, doing Joe Lopes kind of doing Joe Lopes things. The garbage man. The garbage man. The garbage man. Well, this sounds a little bit better than the trash man. Yeah, I'm, 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 <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh no, the garbage man sounds a little bit better than the trash man. Either way. Okay. Yeah, we get the yeah we got the point. I'm not saying he's garbage. Yeah, I think I think we just should go back to just, trash. Just saying he likes to get down and dirty. Well, either way, you're trash or garbage. Inside. <laughs> All right, we're underway. You know, that's what the kids say nowadays, right? You're trash. Going back the other way. Domajan going to get fouled from behind by Chad and Gia. Yeah, but we mean it in a different context. Yeah. I thought Freeman also had a great uh, first half facilitating and, and scoring. Defensively, they're doing a great job. I feel like uh, not giving not yeah, giving points. TJ Henry, Henry is... Um, made his presence felt inside yeah. because, um, I mean, he's doing a good job holding his own against some of the uh, the pointers' bigs. Well, both their bigs, the Henry and Nate G. He's been a uh, Yeah, nice Nate G. is coming in and, and playing his role, making the most of his opportunities as he's been doing. He's been a key contributor. He's been getting um, some more minutes. Coach Brian Fernandes showing a little bit more, showing more and more confidence in him. And the Nate G. having more and more confidence in himself. And his, team, and his team having more confidence than him. The only thing I would... Only a freshman, though. So. Pulls up from about 17. The only thing and I Gia misses. The only thing I would say for... Going back the other way, Talazigre. Oh. His team likes it. He's going to go to the line for two. Draws the foul. Did a good job staying with it. The only thing I would say for um, the Bayhawks to change is... Moving around more offensively, they do it when they, when they do it. They did it in the beginning of the uh, first half. They got had success. They did it towards the end of the first half. They had success. Just keep moving more offensively, and it ends up giving Angia an open look, or you get a nice uh, cut to the basket. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
it's definitely going to be more than a Freeman and a Gia show. Yep. That's for sure. And uh, completing the three-point play the old-fashioned old fashioned way is Salo Zegre. And here's some, here's some pressure by Bristol. Rebounded by Freeman. Santos jumped the gun a little bit, but a We're just sloppy. getting underway. Here's Freeman. All right. We got some water here. Thank you very much. Feels like it's nice and cold. It is nice and cold. Perfect for the um, <laughs> for the pressure cooker. Exactly. Douse me already. Stanley Freeman with the inbound. Looking to inbound. Oh, nice. Lopes establishes position. And one. The garbage man, the trash man for two. Doing all the dirty work. Good job by Lopes. Getting right underneath there, make, building a nice crease. He just has nice composure. Yeah, he's a good finisher around the basket. Yeah. And he's not a guy that's going to wow you with his leaping ability. But he gets, he gets good position, has good fundamentals. Makes a nice And it's just, he's just four tough. 48 to 42. The trash man with a three-point play. Bristol. Bristol in zone, 2-3 zone, Bristol. Domachon catches it at the free throw line, kicks it back out. They get it back inside, nice. Henry got to get both hands up there, just not just one. Domachon. Oh, you might have Henry. Going back the other way is Chad nice. Gia. over two big defenders there. And Gia showing that he can, he can get the job done, penetrating, going to the basket. He's been effective doing that today. They get it inside, kicking it back out. Jumper, Alec Gomes, no good. Rebounded by Lopes. Nice pressure by Bayhawks to make him rush that shot. Freeman crossing over. And he's gonna lose it out of bounds, but it's gonna be off the off the pointers. Yeah, they just gotta move around a little bit. It, that last play, they stood still. Move around. Freeman. Kicks it back out, and Gia for three, pulls okay. it. You can't give him not even a little space. And Gia pulls the three-point cord, and Bristol back up by nine. It's like Microsoft Word. You got to hit that that one single space, not even single space. <laughs> you should do stand-up comedy. I should. You should be yeah. out. You know my uncle's a comedian. He's the, pretty um, good. Yeah. Yeah, his name's Mo Smoking Joe. Oh. But he, he quit smoking like. Years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Giving him some, uh, it's not what you think. You it. ever go to Comedy Connection? No, I haven't. I In even Providence? Know. Yeah. I even they have that. on, um, they have, they have like amateur night. Are you trying to say they have like open, they have like open mic night. You should go and, uh, oh, nice change there. Yeah. One of our own, or formerly one of our own, uh, Benjamin Farabini, he, um, he did a, sh he did a show or two there. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So there's, there's hope for you. There is hope for me, hopefully. I mean, you might leave with like a tomato stain like shirt, but, you know, you I might get a couple tomatoes thrown at your head. But hey, well, that's, just, that's just the growing pains. If it's only a couple, I'll be okay. <laughs> It'll be a couple if you're lucky. <laughs> all right. Well, if they shoot like uh, like pointers, I might be okay. Okay. Our inane <laughs> banter segment brought to you by Cardoza and Holden. Now back to basketball. Tyler Zegre. Zegre, nice. Well, minutes to find that one underneath. Domajan, turn around, little hook there, missed. And Gia going back the other way. Oh, it has Santos. Ooh, Ooh. That, was a, that was a risky pass going away there by Z Gomes. Nice bounce pass inside. Finding Tyler Sprague. Three minutes, see that man coming. I'm sorry, not Sprague, number 35. Yes, yeah, was Cyrus Sprague. Santos going to the basket. Nice. nice oh! T.J. Oh! Hendry. Slammed it down on the head. Slamming it down. Bringing the house down with a facial. Sometimes he just amazes me. It doesn't look like he could get up that high. And then, wait a minute. He's too high. He's too high. Signing him up for the dunk contest now. Three-pointer. It's oh. good. J.R. Gandenberger. With his first points coming up the bench, and Gia, no, the three, uh, 
looking at the river rats, and they're loving it. <laughs> Bayhawks not getting, letting uh, the pointers <laughs> get any momentum. It's getting rowdy. Rowdy in the river. Three pointer. No good. Rebound oh, by nice Dobashan. It gets to a block by TJ Hendry. TJ Hendry getting it done on both ends bring with the block. Bringing it in his half. Everywhere from like all over the court. Holy cow. He got what you need. <laughs> all right, taking the ball underneath the basket is Alec Gomes. Three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by Chad NG. Here's Freeman. Freeman driving. Always looking to pass, though. Keep, Santos. Keep moving. Got to get, keep that dribble. And that's going to be a reach-in. They'll call a reach-in foul on Tyler Zegre. Again, Bayhawks standing still, standing still a little too much. Makes them hesitant. Stanley Freeman didn't start out this way, but I think he's really grown into playing that point guard, playing that point guard role. Stolen away by Zegre. Out ahead to Gannenberger, and Gannenberger off the bench has a quick five. I was going to say he's more comfortable dribbling the ball, but a little, little mis mishap there. Yeah, that's another turnover. You gotta, you gotta limit the turnovers. Freeman, the dish to Hendry, and Hendry clearly got bumped there. How do you know? the team? Both teams have two team fouls, and there is a foul there. It's gonna be on J.R. Gannenberger. Point is going to their bench, bringing in uh, Ferris. See if they can have one a thing about Yeah, one thing about UCAP, they have a deep bench. They've been going. Uh, Coach Sam Chung, he really um, has gone deep into that bench. Not afraid to go to that bench. Well, they need a spark scoring. They, they haven't really got consistency outside of uh, outside of Albany. And they're going to call travel. Turnover. Turnover by Bristol. A couple of them already in the first half. The second half. Ooh, Zegre thought about shooting that over two defenders. Gannenberger for three, nails it. How about that guy? Coming off the bench, heating up like a little microwave. <laughs> Chad NG in the open court, loses it. The handle. Stolen away. Nice pass there by Domajan to a cutting Trevor, Tra Trevor Yamans. I'm sorry, Sprague, Cyrus Sprague. They have to work on pass. They have to work on the ball control a little bit. Yeah, Bristol. Sometimes they get a little bit too careless with the basketball. Also, you got to give credit to the pointers. Almost not a turnover. Santos kicks it to the corner. Oh. Chad NG. No good. They had Henry. Lopes. Oh, Lopes does a good job. To a cutting oh. TJ Henry, who I, got his shot blocked. I feel like he got hit by the hand right there. A couple missed calls there. I think, uh... All right, it's getting, getting a little crazy in here. Yeah. Yeoman's hey. short. Another rebound by Lopes. He's done good on the boards. Pointers love the, those threes. They're staying at their three-point line, like I said, like they're home. Here's Chad NG, Lopes. Setting the pick, setting the screen up there. 12 on the shot clock. Freeman goes into the paint, and there should be a foul, foul on the floor. Freeman Grimison. Yeah, uh, he looks like he's he's holding that that left leg a little bit. So when he's, when he came back up, he was hopping a little bit. Yeah. Here's Freeman. Santos getting pushed a little bit on the inside. Man. Deep three by Freeman. No good. Sant Rebounded by Yeomans. Santos is getting pushed a little bit on the inside. Yeomans goes up. The floater. No good. Gets his own rebound. Oh, nice and a block, block by Henry. 
quick reset by Henry with a couple blocks. Sprague now for three, and he kissed it to go. He's had a couple Wow. How his, about that? I think that's his fourth three. Third or fourth. I like Trevor Yeoman nice. from the previous and shot. And one. And did they count the basket? They did. I believe they did. Yep, they did. 60 to 59. This is actually a closer game than I thought. Pointers came out the came out the locker room hot from three. Three-pointer by Gandenberger, no good. Rebounded by Lopes. Another rebound by Lopes, man. He's, he's done well on the boards. Good. He's doing all a little work, as usual. T.J. Hendry kicks it back out. Freeman, nice swing pass. And Gia brings it in for two. Can't get it to fall. They're getting back to the defensive side pretty quickly. Oh, Jumper in the almost, little little leaner in the lane. Almost not a block by Henry. Just jumped Justin little, Justin Farris. Jumped a little too soon. Stolen uh, away. Gannonberger to Ferris. Ferris can't get it to fall, but what a nice little flip by Gannonberger. Where did this kid come from? Nice hustle there. Chad and G. Taking away a corner. And they're gonna call an offensive foul. These guys, uh, this, these guys, not getting a lot of love tonight from the players or the crowd. No, they're getting. Uh, they're hearing it. They are. They are getting it. It's been some questionable calls. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of whistles this game. Here's Ferris. They flip it into the corner. I mean, Connecticut plays. They some good little team basketball. I'll tell you that. Nice little find. Nice pass by Landon. Well, they have to Gomes underneath. They have no key scorer, so it's definitely a team effort. Pass it side to side. This is going to be the overstatement of the night, but the Connecticut passes like the like 86 Celtics. <laughs> <laughs> and you talk about Iowa stream. No, really. They get the Freeman for three. Oh, it's nice. good. If the he, three man. If he can start adding that to his game more consistently, you better watch out. Just going to be more consistent with that shot, but that's a big three-point shot to tie this game and stop the bleeding. All right, let's take a break here. 11 minutes and 14 seconds to go here in the second half. It's deadlocked. We'll be right back here on FRC Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, welcome back, everybody. 63-63, a lot of time left to go. 11 minutes and 14 seconds. This game is tied, and it's been really a back and forth kind of deal. For the second half, yeah, I feel like I feel like the Bayhawks are playing playing better overall than than uh, than UCAP, but they just have some dry spells offensively, and, and then UCAP gets it going, and all you know, then you know it's tied up. Yeah, Bristol had the lead at the half. They were up as much as nine here in the second half, and they've allowed UConn UCAP to get back in it just because. <laughs> You know, a couple turnovers here and there, but Connecticut, UConn, give them credit. They They've taken advantage of turnovers. They're playing good defense. They're playing good team basketball. And they're going, I mean, the coach, Coach Sam Chung, he goes deep into that bench. There's a lot of guys that are coming off the bench and um, and making plays, making good, make it good heady plays. J.R. Gannenberger has come off the bench. Landon goes to the basket. Oh, oh he wow. missed it. That, that would have gave them the lead, but that was a nice pass, a nice cut to the basket. That was a gift by the, the pointers. I think uh, they actually just, the biggest difference is they've been hitting their threes on like the first uh, first quarter, but for the UCAP. Lopes rolling to the basket, puts it up, gets the contact, and he should go, looks like yeah, he will go to the line for two. 
Well, number 23 definitely felt uh, the built of built of Lopes. Rubbing his face a little bit. Whatever happened to um, to Mal Maloyed Perkins, who was uh, hitting hit a couple threes at the beginning of the game? I mean, he um, he kind of disappeared. It could have been he was maybe giving too much up on the defensive side. I mean, he's not a big score for them, but he was uh, he was in the starting lineup. I'm Lowe's misses the free throw. I'm surprised. Uh, I'm surprised Abney's not in. Abney was their main source of scoring in the first half. I mean, they get a lot of guys that can get it done. I mean, look at their bench. Yeah, they have a deep team. No, no key guy, but they have a deep team that they they can any given night any one of them any one of them can have a good game. That's the way it seems. Lopes hits the second free throw. Bristol looking to trap at half court. They do. Ferris kicks it in the corner again, and Berger for three coming off. Rebounded by Santos. Bristol holding on to a one-point lead as we approach the halfway mark here in the second half. Bayhawks still not too worried about those threes. Giving them a little bit of space. The general, Freeman, gets it out to Chad NG. NG, first, oh, what a Ooh. block there. Landon punching that. I didn't, I, I didn't see that one coming. Got the, got the cap into it. We cap into it a little bit. Nate Landon punched that one to next week. Holy cow. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that was that was tough. Ooh, inbound pass. Definitely Santos guys. had to go up to get that. Guys, bench into it. Connecticut playing some effective man-to-man. -man. Yeah. Freeman from the top of the key, gonna be short. Rebounded by Landon, going up high to get it. Well, this is making it easy for them. They're not moving around as much, like I said before. And we get a foul on the floor. I believe it's going to be on. Stanley Freeman, that's going to be his third. He's got to take it a little more conservative now. Here's Zegre at the point. Three-pointer, Alec Gomes, way off the mark, tipped. And just those three-pointers just aren't falling. Those shots start falling for the pointers. Well, they, it could they, be a problem. They were getting it before the timeout. It's just, they live and die by a three. Oh, and Gia does a good job going to his left. Puts it up with the right. Can't get it to fall. Another rebound by Landon. Landon's giving pretty good minutes for them in the second half. Gannenberger. And they're going to call travel. He, he went up for the pass, just couldn't hold on to it and kind of fell back. Well, he's coming out right now. He's kind of He was hurting his team a little bit with a couple missed threes and... Hey, he was the he was the one of the main reasons why they're well, saying, why this game's tied. I'm he had like ten points off the bench. Off, but I'm saying recently, past couple of plays, he hasn't been on point. Yeah, you can't be on point all the time. Yeah, well, it's a good time to take him out. He came off the bench and definitely gave them a spark. Freeman going all the way to the rack, can't get it to fall. Loose ball, landing up. Oh, and he. Oh, nice. I don't know who he was. I don't know who he was giving it to. I he, thought, I think, he gave it right back. Yeah, I think he was surprised that uh, Bayhawks were already out there first. Nate Land is tough. He's six foot five. Bristol, Bristol giving up a lot of size. Now I feel like, but they're not giving up a lot of heart. You mm -hmm. talk about a guy like Joe Lopes. He has a lot of heart. He's definitely a guy that can manufacture points down there. Looks like that's why we call him the garbage man. For the uh, for the goes to work. For the pointers, it looks like uh, Abney came back in. Their main source of scoring for the first half. Let's see if. Uh, Starts changing things for the pointers. Well, I think they've had a lot of main sources. I mean, in the first half, they, it was mostly Abney. I mean, he hit some. He hit some. I thought he hit he some saw. key shots, but I mean, they've had at least eight or nine guys who have gotten in on the scoring. Yeah. Uh, recently, it was a couple, couple of threes made. Lopes hits both free throws. I like the way uh, Landon has played his last couple minutes. 66-63. Z Greg. Oh, that was uh, just a bad pass there. Okay. Keeping it alive though was Abney. Landon, short jumper, it's good. 66 65. Connecticut really does move that ball around. Santos, the three, can't get it to fall. Going back the other way. 
Landon going up. Oh. And he's going to get a foul. Bayhawks are ready for it. Had two guys out there in the break. Got back quick defensively. Credit to them. Not landing nothing easy. Cyrus Sprague will inbound. Coming up on eight minutes to play. Gomes slips it into the corner. The three-pointer, it's good. Yeah. Cyrus Sprague for three. Wonder how many three Freeman points. catches it. Nice pass inside. Lopes, he's going to go back to the line for two. One time at three point attempts to uh, the point. They just keep shooting. They just keep shooting. Yeah. I mean that's one thing they're not they're not scared to shoot. And once those once those shots start going down, because they're getting those shots off. Well, they usually average almost twenty three uh, three pointers a game. Well, they don't make them, but that's how much they shoot. They usually make around uh, seven. A little bit more than that tonight. It's going to be more than that. What they tonight? Get, they get to attempt more th three pointers as a team. As a team, they hit they hit seven. But they shoot tw almost 23. They're not, they're not a great shooting team. Just. Well, they're not afraid to shoot. No. That's, that's for sure. Once those shots start going down, if they had made half of those shots, I mean, this would be a different ball game right now. As yeah. Lopes will attempt to tie this game. He does. Yeah, they're definitely better. He's in double. Joe Lopes is in double figures. They're definitely better than the average tonight. Oh, nice steal by Stantos. Getting a hand in there. I told you this one was going to go down in the end. Chad NG flips it up with a little uh, finger roll. Yeah. Little dipsy doo. Nice composure there by. Little flipperoo. Chad NG. Forgot flippery. Inside. J.R. Gannonberger for three. I wonder if uh, Bayhawks are going to start respecting the three point line. 71 to 70. Gannonberger, you were talking about him earlier. He's really ignited this team off the bench. Chad and G. Oh, and a nice, nice. Beautiful, beautiful little left hand shot off the glass and in. And this is a seesaw battle right now. 72 71. Don't go away. We're just getting started. Lopes with the rebound, ripping it away out of the garbage can. We have Freeman going back the other way. Off the oh, glass nice. and in. Hello. Nice composer there by Freeman. 74 71, and Bristol is up by three. Under seven to go. I call Bayhawks not rushing anything. Seagray, three-pointer, way off the mark. Bayhawks are not, not rushing anything when it comes to going to the basket. They're making the right adjustments and able to lay it in. Here's Freeman. Nice pick by Henry. Chad and G for three, gets no. it to go. The three-pointer, hello. 77-71. Bristol pulls away a little bit more. Down and keep this uh, momentum up. The Fall River Faithful loving it. Three pointer. And the bench. That's it. The miss. And who's there? J.R. Gannenberger. Where did this kid come from? 77 to 73. And it's getting wild here on a Thursday night in the last game of January. All right, 608 to play here. Let's take a small break. We'll be right back here on FRC Media. Stay with us. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Welcome back to LaFrance Gymnasium, home of your Bristol Community College Bayhawks, home of the Bishop Conley Cougars, right next door to the beautiful campus of Bristol Community College. Right now, there's a lot of under, a lot of construction. Can't wait till can't wait till it's over. Construction where? Bristol Community College. Is there more? Oh, is there more construction over yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Working on the pipes, they're working on the doors. Oh yeah, oh yeah, all that. Yeah. Construction everywhere there yeah. on Ellsbury Street. Hopefully they uh, maybe reimburse Jerfy me. High School building basically a new school right there. <laughs> new something. Taking over the parking lot. This whole city is under construction. Yeah. 
All the roads are under construction. All the different roads are blocked off every week, well, every day. Maybe a little bit less now that it's uh, getting cold, but once, this, once it starts getting a little bit warmer, you better believe be a lot of detours. That's for sure. It looks like looks like it looks like UCAP is in the two three zone now. Only trailing by four. Nice ball movement there. Bristol needs to have more. They need to have efficient efficient times down floor right now. And Gia for three, way off. See, they start off good. They start moving. Rebounded by Yeomans. And they get set. G Gray looking like John Stockton kicks it back. Oh, looking to kick it back out to oh, and he pass it right to Freeman. Tele he telegraphed that one. Now Freeman made that shot. Did he get the assist? Wow, that's a good. Um, I thought that was a good foul there by uh, by Yeomans. Yeah, definitely. Because that would have been a uh, easy two. That would have been an easy two. We needed to do that. Are they going to call it an open? Open pass. Actually, it's going to be a. They're in the bonus right now. So regardless whether it's uh, whether it was going to be an open path to the basket, or not, whether it was going to be like a flagrant, yeah, or whatever you want to call it, still two. It's, uh, yeah, it's nine. They got UCAP has nine team fouls, only five for Bristol. Wow. With uh, five and a half to play. With the, the way the crowd reacting, you think it'll be all the way around? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the refs have been blowing their whistle, just like the women's game. But I mean, Bristol has been getting a lot of calls. Well, this half, last half, I think it was pretty even. Yeah. It's pretty even. It is what it is. Yeah. You are what you are. Stanley Freeman. Sounds like a Bristol weird. makes their Bristol makes their free throws down the stretch. They're gonna pull this basketball game out, but don't go away. I mean, it's only a six-point game. Malioy Perkins, he's back in the game. They're gonna go down low, inside, nice to Sprague. And on the perimeter. Loose ball on the floor. Who's going to come no, away with uh, it? Oh, Henry almost had it. It's a hot Loose potato. ball again. It came a hot potato. I think they're going to call a foul. They're going to call a loose ball foul. The foul is going to be on TJ Henry. I like how Henry. I like how uh, Henry was playing interior defense. A little yeah, he's had a few good blocks down there on the inside. Oh, he's, and he's given up some weight. He's given up some size here, I think. But he puts his hands up. He stays stays in front of his man. He ain't scared. No. Perkins inbounds. 18 on the shot clock. Bristol's all over them. Three pointer by Yeomans, no nice, good. Nice contest by off. Coming up there. short. Another rebound by Lopes. I mean, he, Lopes might have a double double by the time this one's all said and done. That was a nice contest this, uh, by Freeman there. Give no space. Expecting a three-point line a little bit more. Lopes for three. Oh, oh uh, couldn't get it to go. This place would have went crazy. Yeah. Got back quick defensively. Yeah. Only a six-point lead. A lot of time to go. Gomes with a cross-court pass. Good ball movement there. Three-pointer. No good. Rebounded by Freeman. Looks like Bayhawks are starting to expect a three-point line, not giving, not giving them more open looks. Yeah, they definitely are. UCAP is uh, they are dying by the three right now. Slowly dying. Well, after they start making a couple, you start. You gotta have to respect it. Oh, he had Lopes open. Oh, nice little move there. Nice little fake. Little couldn't, couldn't, couldn't make the bunny though. A little missed opportunity there. Lopes did a nice cut. Was open under the rim. Couldn't find him. They are all over the three-point shot though. Oh, nice little fake there. Looking like Kevin McHale. Cyrus spraying a little fake. Goes to the basket. And, we got and quietly, UCAP is, I mean, they're right there. They're within four. You would think that Bristol was up a little bit more, like I but they're not. Like I said, uh, seems like I feel like the Bayhawks been playing better throughout the game, but either Pointers go on some little spurts or Bayhawks go on a little dry spell. Right now, the Pointers are just getting got nice uh, little spurts. Well, they've hit enough on the, the Pointers. They've hit enough. I keep them in the game. They've hit enough outside shots, I mean, to, to keep themselves in the game. And really... I think the unsung hero for the pointers is J.R. Gannenberger. He's come off the bench, and he's given them a lift, hitting uh, three three-pointers. And I mean, he did he even play in the first half? I think he's, he been, he's got all his points in the second half. J.R. Gannenberger, a sophomore from East Lyme, Connecticut, six foot tall. He's given them a little spark. But we know that uh, anyone from this, we've seen it, anyone from these pointers team can get it going. Like I said, no, no true star, but they move around well without the basketball, and they, um, 
definitely have some good motion offense, but they're not, they're getting a lot, of, a lot, a lot of their looks are contested. Yeah. Well, now, yeah, on three-point line. Before it was a little, little bit open looks on three-pointers. Point, three pointers. Here's Freeman being got up by Perkins. In the corner, Santos, they trap in there. They get inside, Lopes. Oh, Lopes oh. with a nice pass to NG. And they're going to call a foul, I believe, on Gandenberger with a reach in. Nice move by NG to not go to the basket there. And uh, Chad Ngia. Like it soon. I feel uh, this, this might be a hard choice for the uh, Bayhawk of the game. A couple mm. plays coming through. You think so? I think there's maybe, I like, I mean, it would be easy to say Ngia, but Lopes probably put it in a great game. Freeman showed that a little couple times, but I don't think it's a easy giveaway. See, I gotta see how this game ends, maybe. Yep, it ain't over yet. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it would definitely be between those two. Chad NG and Joe Lopes nope. have definitely been uh, the two guys that have stuck out. Six point lead. If I'm the pointers, I'm not shooting. You don't need to shoot three. Go to the basket. Use your size. And, to, and Sprague will go to the line for two. Well, that's probably why uh, Bayhawks have the advantage of fouls. They, 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 know, they know to go to the basket. The refs are calling it. And uh, pointers are getting the point now. <laughs> no, no point. The refs no are point. calling. Refs are calling everything. Yeah. I mean, they're calling the mosquito, the mosquito bites out there. <laughs> they might still like the sound. The mosquitoes are getting fouls. And calmly sinking that free throw with Cyrus Sprague. Sprague shoots 80%, 80.6% from the free throw line, averaging 10 and a half a game overall, points per game. Second free throw. I think you jinxed him right there. And get it to go. Yeah. <laughs> Down five. Is that what you, how it usually happens? Pointers are going to need, they're going to need to get some stops. Bristol. Bristol's taking their time now. But you got Bristol's got Bristol's to remember. It's only five points. Um, pointers are in foul trouble. They just need to get something going to the rim. Yeah. Well, that's just off my point. So I'll get two. Don't get Annenberger, two. Annenberger sticking with Freeman. You Four seconds. It. They're going to need to. You got to make this in here quick. Santos gets it blocked. Oh. Going back the other way. Gannenberger. Oh, oh, that was. Man. He should have went up with it. Rushed it a little bit. That was good defense, though, by Bristol. That was. Freeman kept his eyes open. Henry. Pounding himself baseline. Flips it up and under. Oh, not. Oh, and they're going to call it travel. Oh, that would have been remarkable. Henry's anyway, not getting no love from the refs tonight. Oh, that would have been mm -hmm. remarkable if that accounted. See, all I know is that the Bayhawks can't get too set on offense. I know they want to waste the clock, but when they when they get too set on offense and not move around, they don't they don't make nothing. It's only a it's only a five point game. At the top, nice little fake. Bristol just playing good defense. I mean, UConn moves well, but they just don't have the athleticism. That's a deep three. That's way off the mark. Well, that was way forced there. I mean, it, Dan LaBelle should not have shot that shot. Their defense throughout the night has so been keeping them in the game or keeping them in the lead. UCAP just looks very hesitant to go inside, to go inside against Bristol. Henry's a pretty good interior defenseman. Probably don't want to end up being blocked. But still, they got size. Bristol looking for their eighth win of the season. A win today would make them, would bring them to eight and five. Could definitely use it at the end of January for four away games after this. Lopes in the corner, jumper, it's nice. good! That's a big shot by Joe Lopes. Oh, I, look, I think you're looking at our Bayhawks player of the game. Possibly so. Seagre. Three pointer. Coming off, and that's it. Bristol's going to seal the deal. Here comes Santos. Santos telling everyone to slow it down. We're approaching with one minute left to play. I think UCAP um, definitely with a good effort Ooh. here today. Oh, that was a good block there. Pass ahead. Good job by TJ Hendry to get back. Tracking it down to Yeoman. Three-pointer by Gray. No good. Tell you what. Too many outside shots. Too many three balls. 23 has been bringing the effort for the pointers. Yeah. A lack of effort from him. 
I mean, that was a three they needed. I guess they needed to take right there. But, I mean, so many outside shots that they've missed. Yeah, you have, you have to have a balance. If it's not working for you, stop going inside, especially when you have the size and they're blowing the whistle. I give a lot of credit to the Bristol defense. I mean, UConn does a good job of playing team basketball. Everybody's touching the basketball. Guys are moving around. But they're not getting anywhere. No. They're not getting it. They're not, they're not able to beat their man. They're not able to take it to the rim. And sometimes I just don't think they have the athleticism or the, the lift, the ups, yeah. to maybe finish at the rim sometimes. Yeah. Even though they have the size advantage. They don't have the athleticism. I don't know. They're not. The speed, the burst. But then again, they're not taking advantage of their height either. No. They shouldn't be taking, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, definitely. definitely taking too many outside shots. I agree. I also feel like I want to give credit to the Bayhawks. They, they can get it going offensively, but I think, I think the, real, the real thing of this, of this team is their defense. Just consistent. I mean, UCAP tries to get a little too flashy oh, with nice their passing. Oh, by Freeman. Bristol's done a good job of, the, uh, Bristol's done a good job of contesting the three-pointers, though. They've done a much better job, job than they did against, half, yeah, yeah, than they did against Bunker Hill, where it looked like they were missing their rotations. Guys were, um, they were you know, Bunker Hill was yeah. getting some open looks. Bunker Hill was moving around, and they had to have better three-point shooters. I know uh, that pointers were getting a lot of open looks for three point um, in the first half, but they weren't just making them all. This the second half, the Bayhawks expected the three point line a little bit more from from the pointers. Santos makes the free throw. A lot of Santos played a lot of minutes this game. Coming up on 30 seconds of play. Three-pointed by Zegre, coming off. You think they know that's not a nine-point shot? <laughs> what well, does it say, 11? All right. Timeout on the floor. The Bayhawks, the faithful, loves it. Really middle Good crowd here for a Thursday yeah. night. On a Thursday night here, Thursday night Bayhawks basketball. Good to see. And what's the motto? Do you know the motto? Grit. 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 G-R-I-T. Bayhawks grit. They definitely showed some grit defensively tonight. Definitely did. Especially on the interior. I like, uh, I got to say, I like, I like, uh, um, it's going to be tough this game for Bayhawks player. I mean, and Gia had a great first go. half, but, I mean, I think we got to go with our guy, the, the garbage man. <laughs> Mr. Lopes. He puts his hard hat on every day. Going back the other way. Freeman? I thought he was going to dunk it. Uh, I think he wanted to. Come on, Stanley. <laughs> Three-pointer. It's good. A little bit too late, though, for the pointers. He's hit a couple of them this game. Going back the other way. Freeman wants to dunk. Oh, Ooh. gets it to Hendry. I think gonna... And that's going to be it. You know, they wanted to bring the house down, but that's going to be it. Well, they're playing. The pointers are playing to the the end of the clock. I think they, they well, UCAP will come in here and get the split. The women's UCAP team with a good performance. They had 100. It was 185? Yeah, it was a, it was a high scoring game. Yeah. They, they did a pretty good job of coming out of the second half. I think they yeah. did a better job of, than Bayhawks. Coming out yeah. with the game plan. Yeah, UCAP had a, I mean, they went over the century mark. Yeah. They had a convincing win against our Bristol Bayhawks. And our men, the men's team, with their eighth victory of the season, <laughs> another air ball by Tan LaBelle from the same spot. And in a January, on a high note, getting ready for these four. Well, you're looking for the stretch run. Games. Let's look at the schedule here. You got four road games. You know, February is coming up, and that's when that's when the stretch run. You got four, this you, is when the uh, this is money maker time. You got four home uh, four home games within men's, eleven days. Men's. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I was getting ahead of myself there. You still right. got four home games within the <laughs> same thing, back to backs within four within uh yeah within nine days. This is the last home game for a while. The next time the Bayhawks will be at home will be February 11th on a Tuesday. 
And February the 13th, the day before Valentine's Day. So Tuesday the 11th, Springfield Technical Community College comes in here. And then Mass Bay Community College. Three home games in a row in February. And then Quincy College will come in the day after Valentine's Day on February 15th. So those are the next home games. Those are the next times we'll be with you for the men's team. But four road games against Bunker Hill. I mean, I'm sorry, against Benjamin Franklin, CCRI, Holyoke, and Quincy Gamon. Those All right. Games are gonna so uh, Bristol will be on the road, but the final score here, 90 to 79. All right, our Bayhawks player of the game is going to be. Lopes. We got our co-Bayhawks players of the game. Okay, Chad yeah. Angia and Joe Lopes will be our co-Bayhawks players of the game. I like. It. I think that's fair. All right. So for David Cardoza and uh, Megan Holden, great job with the national anthem today. Lucy Cabral, great job. You know the Mr. Tech Man, Steve Reese, nice and, job the, on a camera. and the Mystery Woman. Nice What's your name, Mystery Woman? Alicia and Alicia with the fancy camera work. Thank Great you. job, everybody. So for all of our people here at FRC Media, thank you for watching Bayhawks basketball. Good night, everybody.